this is Chad. We're going to do another segment on the DIY for the Easy Dock system. What we want to show you is how I can turn my cameraman into a dead weight and counterbalancing my weight so that we can put these couplings together. So we've moved our dock and reconfiguring that. So the simplest method for us to keep this all in alignment, we take our top rubber couplings and we'll sit those down in. You'll notice that it's floating a little high. That's Find balance you find between finding the second person that's working with you and finding the right weight. We'll pop these in because sometimes it's a little windy and you get a little bit chopped, but that dock's going to be swinging all over the place on you. So it's a lot easier just to hold it in place. So what we'll do is we'll get the camera to fly over here. I'll show you the key pieces to look for when you're putting it together. So if you look down the side, you will see this gap. So when we, when you got a big fat guy like myself, this gap's going to be sometimes quite large based on whether you've got a pipe out in the end. So this particular case, it's actually helping us with that weight. So that gap you want to close up so that you can pull that bottom coupler up into place. And that's what your counterbalance is going to be out on the end of the dock. So my suggestion, a guy that weighs about 160 pounds, stand at about three quarters of the way out. The alternative, if you don't have any friends, <laughs> You can use a plastic garbage can, fill that with water, and you can slide it forward and back to try to find that optimum balance for your own body weight. We're going to show you how to stick one of these couplers in now. And as I said before, you make sure you get all your tools and stuff nice and close by. I'll get my cameraman to step out on the dock as my counterbalance. I'll get out of your way so you can fall. Again, remembering that we have to keep this rod in line with the actual tool, so it comes straight up under the puck. Drop your coupler down in. It'll go deep enough that that rod is beneath the dock now. So we'll slide this through. You feel it slide into the hole. I always like to keep my feet sort of spaced over the dock. Give it a little snap up. That's it. We'll step on here again. Another thing to remember is that install tool will slide right through, so make sure that you hold on to it. I'll just show you what happens in that case sometimes. So you let go of that, right? It'll drop down, sometimes freak you. So that gap, if somebody's moving or you've got some boat traffic, the tool will drop right down. We're shallow here, so it's actually hitting the bottom in this case. But you don't want it to drop off end up at the bottom of a lake that's 200 